Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm Maui Bridge. I'm a fifth year software engineering student. And I'm Jamie Campanelli. I'm a fourth year cybersecurity student. So our first question, why was it important for you to participate in this event today? Um, well, I'm here to represent my club, Limited Computing. It's very to kind of raise awareness to the community that we are facing this Um, And then I'm here because, again, just like Mal, to... Um, represent women in, women in computing, but then also I, I was really interested in seeing all the different um, organizations and clubs on campus or even like sororities and such that actually like work with empowering women and on campus. Next question, how do you support women's perspectives and voices in male dominated spaces working or studying at RMT? Well, uh, it's kind of like everything we do in WIC. It's all about, you know, supporting women and other gender minorities that really don't have a voice. And allowing them to like have a safe space to just raise their voices or raise their yeah. concern and then help build it, help them building their skills with like different workshops and such like that. Okay. And then tell us about a woman change maker within the RIT community that you feel should be recognized during women's history. I mean, I'm obviously going to pick Elena. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> She's done like everything for us. She gets two votes. <laughs> yeah. Two thumbs up. But no, she's been a really great resource for women in computing. Obviously, with her being the director, her also being the director of diversity of Galasano, her being the uh the Title IX deputy uh, coordinator of Galasano as well. And she's just been through so much and she's helped us so much in every way she can, you know, making sure that we have the right resources, making sure that we're on the right track with everything, like even planning our hackathon, which is this weekend. Just making sure that we have what we need to succeed. And she's been here for years, you know. She's just very steady in our lives. Yeah. Which is nice. She's been here for like 20 years, I think. Yeah. Okay. While we're on recording, you want to say anything about the gender ratio of Galaxy? <laughs> it's whack. Let you say that. It, it is very whack. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's not uncommon for me to be the only girl in my class. Actually, really surprising. I had a class last semester and the amount of girls was the highest I've ever had in a class. And I think it was like seven Whoa. with like 33 guys. Like it was a 40, like 40 person class and there were seven girls. <laughs> there was one time I was TA in a class with a freshman seminar. I was the TA and I was the only woman in that room. I was like 30 some oh, kids. God. Oh, I would get stared at but that's what yeah, we're committing to is not to rep our organization, yeah. but we work on outreach initiatives. So we would love to collab. Mm -hmm. And like when I walk into the wig space, I know I'm not going to be stared at for being a woman. <laughs> I get to just be myself. <laughs> I'm going to be my freak. No, I'm just gonna be, I'm a freak. I'm a freak in my own right. Not because I'm a woman. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. 